Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to install the new exploit that got released for RPG Maker Player. If you don't have this, you can download it from the eShop. It's completely free, so I'll be starting off from that point after you have it downloaded. So to start off, you want to download it and extract the homebrew launcher to your 3DS's SD card like this. I'll have all download links in the video description below, so make sure to check that out. So once you've got all of the files copied, eject your SD card and put it back into your console. Next, you want to boot it up and launch system settings. You only need to do this if your language is not set to English at the moment. Go to other settings and scroll over until you see language. Click on it and set your language to English. Once you do that, you can close out of system settings. Now you want to open up RPG Maker. Click start when it shows up on the home screen. Now I'm going to pause the video because there's a step I didn't show on camera because downloading it takes a while. You want to click download contents and keep following any prompts that come up and it should let you download the DLC for this game. It's going to take a few minutes depending on how fast your internet is. But yeah, once you get that, go back into the main menu and click download games. Accept the user agreement if you haven't already and continue on with the setup steps like setting a nickname and all that. Once you get to this screen, click Download Posted Product and click Search Product ID. Now you need to get a download code. These codes are made by people who already have hacked consoles. You can find and post these in the comment section of this video, and I'll have a few in the description too. And you can also use hashtag GetRPONG on Twitter. The one I have is for USA Old 3DS because that's the type of console I'm using. So type in the code you got and continue on with downloading it like I'm doing in the video right now. It may take a little while, it took me about a minute and a half to download mine, but I cut it out of the final video so you won't see that much. If this screen comes up, back out of it and back all the way into the main menu. It's just asking if you want to do another one, which we don't at the moment. Now in the main menu, click Gameplay. Click on the one you just downloaded and click Yes. It may crash a few times like mine did just now, but after a few attempts it should load and you are inside with the homebrew launcher then. So as you can see mine loaded on the second try and I now have full access to the homebrew launcher. So yeah, I hope you found this helpful. It'd be nice to see some collaboration in the comments section below, so feel free to help others out and don't forget to leave a like if this video helped you out. And also subscribe for more videos like this in the future and I'll see you next time.